Halo Infinite has been delayed to 2021. Microsoft has announced that Halo Infinite has been delayed from its originally planned holiday release of 2020 to an unspecified date in 2021, meaning it will not launch alongside the Xbox Series X as Xbox had previously planned. Xbox did not confirm a new release window other than next year for Halo Infinite, explaining that the delay comes as the result of multiple factors that have contributed to development challenges, including the ongoing COVID-related impacts affecting us all this year. Xbox Series X will still launch this year, with Microsoft confirming that the Xbox Series X will arrive in November 2020. Microsoft released a statement saying, quote, We have made the difficult decision to shift our release to 2021 to ensure the team has adequate time to deliver a Halo game experience that meets our vision. The decision to shift our release is the result of multiple factors that have contributed to development challenges, including the ongoing COVID-related impacts affecting us all this year. I want to acknowledge the hard work from our team at 343 Industries, who have remained committed to making a great game and finding solutions to development challenges. However, it is not sustainable for the well-being of our team or the overall success of the game to ship it this holiday. The extra time will let us finish the critical work necessary to deliver the most ambitious Halo game ever at the quality we know our fans expect. Thank you for your support and understanding. Halo Infinite was arguably the marquee launch game for Xbox Series X, but Microsoft has clarified its launch plans for the next-gen console following the announcement. The console maker makes clear that there are more than 50 new games planned for this year across generations and optimized for Xbox Series X. 343 Industries recently confirmed that Halo Infinite's multiplayer will also be free to play and support 120 FPS on Xbox Series X. Xbox also showcased the upcoming Halo adventure as part of its recent Xbox Series X event, at which point we learned more about Infinite's story and villain, how Halo Infinite's open world will work, why Halo newcomers shouldn't be afraid to jump into Infinite, and how 343 is setting up Infinite to be a platform for the Halo franchise. Since its showcase, however, the demo encountered some controversy due to discussions around its graphical fidelity. Infinite's developers addressed the blowback about Halo Infinite's graphics, explaining some of the developers' artistic goals and influences while also acknowledging some of the concerns. Are you in favor of Halo Infinite's delay, even though that means it's not going to be a launch title with the Xbox Series X? Let me know in the comments, and for all gaming and entertainment news, stay here at IGN.